Hi, I'm making this video for my remote learners, as well as anyone who wants just a refresher about the assignment this week. This is National Band Book Week, and it celebrates the freedom of the press and the freedom of the libraries to offer materials to all of those in their communities. So the first item is the directions for the assignment. You're going to read, there's a lot of reading with this one. The first is a weekly reader article. It's very short, but it gives you just a general idea about Band Book Week um, and that it is, this is the link available on the directions, but it's also available as an attachment to the Google Classroom. The next item is a PDF file, and it is uh, from the Instagram, the Book Wrangler. And he did a really good job of just kind of highlighting the Library Bill of Rights, uh, which is something that the libraries created to ensure that librarians are always representing the entire community and making sure that the offerings are there and protecting those freedoms. Um, uh, we don't always think of librarians as protectors of freedom, but we do more than shh people in the library when they're too loud. The next article is by Dave Pilkey. It's an article uh, from The Guardian. And he wrote the article when he, people started asking him why his Captain Underpants books made the top 10 book band uh, lists around the world. And he was kind of confused because that was the same year uh, a lot of controversial titles were published, but his books were more challenged and more likely to be banned than some of the others. Now, I've attached the PDF, but here's a link if you want to visit the site itself. In response to having, in 2012, 2013, one of the top 10 banned books, um, he made a little video kind of explaining how he views book banning and what people can do instead of banning a book. He gives them some options. Uh, it's very short. The next item is you're going to review the top 10 banned books by year. This is the list. You're going to have to access the American Library Association's uh, website. It's free. Uh, and then the top 100 most banned or challenged books of the decade from 2010 to 2019. And that's where your assignment comes into play. And then if you want extra information, there's always more information available on the American Library uh, Association's website. But for your assignment, I did provide an example. Remember to write your incomplete sentences. Watch out for capitalization. Always double check your work. Uh, there's a guide for uh, what titles should be underlined and what should be capitalized um, attached to the assignment. Uh, the first question is, and this is my sample that I, I created, so you can see what I'm expecting. Uh, the first question is, have you ever read a book that's been banned or challenged? And I have an example if you say yes. But I also provided an example for if you say no. The next question is why was the book banned or challenged? So if you saw it on the list, it'll, it will provide you a brief explanation. Or if it's no, here is the option for if no, I've never read a banned or challenged book. This is how you would answer number two. Here's a sample. Number three and number four are 
the big questions. These are the explanations. This is the time to really provide a good, solid paragraph. And for the purpose of this assignment, a band book is one that's been removed either from a local library shelf or a school curriculum. While a challenged book means that someone has simply questioned its appropriateness, someone has said, hey, and there's been some debate, possibly some legal action about it. Uh, censorship is much larger. That it would include something like trying to prevent it from being published or being bought at all. Like they take them from the bookstores or they sue the publishing company to keep it from being printed. Um, and of course, the most extreme form of censorship is, it says, uh, like the one picture to the left, but I, I deleted the picture. Um, it's, it's not the same thing. Book burning is not the same as book banning. Um, a banned book can always be put back on the shelf when a, the re decision is reversed or opinions change. Books that are burned never can come back uh, unless they are published again. So for questions three and four, I've provided a sample. You don't have to agree with me. You don't, you don't have to disagree with me. You don't even have to have a very strong opinion. This may be the first time you've ever considered book banning, which is why I provided um, this helpful article here. There's a link to this points of view and a little video explaining how to get there. But it offers an overview of what book banning is and then a point and a counterpoint. The point is freedom of the press always counterpoint and eh, there's a place for censorship or book banning um, or somehow challenging. Uh, so if you're looking to form your opinion, you're not sure how you feel about it, or you're looking for the right words to express your opinion, these two options here, or even the overview might provide the words or the seeds that start your thoughts. So that is the assignment. Remember that these are the 10 point questions. So I'm looking for something very strong, um, we're looking four to eight sentences. I want details. Don't just say yes, because I say so. That's not going to get you 10 points. Make sure you provide those details. And I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I will let you know. The assignment is a recommended due date of Friday, October 2nd by midnight, but the final due date, the cutoff is Monday, October 5th by midnight. So if you want to take some time to form your thoughts, you still have the weekend uh, and Monday to work on this.